Hey awesome folks, we are diving into the new Stable Diffusion Dream Shaper Checkpoint Model Update, specifically the shiny new Dream Shaper 8 LCM model. Now, we've tackled the LCM in our past animation adventures, but guess what? Dream Shaper just dropped an update that's training AI models as LCM models. They claim you can run these checkpoint models with a breezy 5 to 15 steps and two CFG configurations without the LCM Loris model. Intrigued? Well, so are we. Today we're putting these LCM models from Dream Shaper to the test. They're shouting from the rooftops that these LCM models are fantastic, especially for lightning fast real-time applications and killer videos. We create animations using Animate Diff in Comfy UI, and then we sprinkle in some of these checkpoint models for that extra magic. Exciting stuff, right? Oh, and I can't forget to mention the Dream Shaper showcase with their iconic Dream Shaper girls crafted using LCM. Check out this one. The outfits on these Dream Shaper girls are top notch. So far, so good. Now, let's see how we can rock these LCM models with some text prompts. This is the Dream Shaper 8 LCM, and the next stop on our adventure is the Dream Shaper XL. Hold on, we've got a twist. Dream Shaper XL. They've been training with the SDXL Turbo, and the latest version is up for grabs at Civitai.com. The image quality is on point. I'm not entirely convinced. It's all from the SDXL Turbo Dream Shaper Turbo Checkpoints model, but it's looking pretty darn decent. With a simple text prompt, they're conjuring up these incredible images like the Dream Shaper Iconic Girl. Check this out. It's impressive. Let's see if we can use these text prompts and styles to spice up our next animations. Now, time to put the Dream Shaper checkpoints to the test. We're diving into a text-to-image workflow, starting with the default and then tweaking it for LCM magic. We're going to connect the checkpoint models tweak the sampling steps, CFG configurations, and throw in some LCM in the case sampler. Just to spice things up, we'll change save image to preview image for this demo. I'm grabbing those text prompts from their demo, negative and positive, and resizing to 512 width and 960 height. A quick double check, and it's time to run the Dream Shaper 8 LCM. Okay, let's see. Four images later, using the iconic Dream Shaper girl text prompt, and wow, the details on the clothes are top notch for just five sampling steps. Let's crank it up to 15 steps because, hey, they said it can handle it. Look at that. Pretty darn close to what they flaunt on their website, showcase detailed clothing and all. Now, let's slow it down to one image at a time and throw in some existing Loras model action. Connecting the checkpoint models, running the Loras, and... Bingo! More detail on these 15-step generated images. The Dream Shaper LCM model teaming up with the ad. Detail Loras model is like a superhero duo, revealing windows and intricate backgrounds. But hey, let's keep it classy. We don't want our character getting too spicy. Next image, please. Whoa, that was mind blowing. I've decided to save this gem. The one with the trees peeking behind the windows and those intricate details that keep getting better. Let's generate a few more, curate the best ones, and stash some samples for future awesomeness. Time to experiment with 10 sampling steps. Will it get worse or give us a whole new vibe? And there it is. The details in the background, the hair, and the golden armor of the Dream Shipper girls are still shining through. Dream Shaper 8. LCM is indeed a wizard when paired with Loras models, especially the ED details as they hinted. But hold your horses, we're not stopping there. 
Now, on to the Dream Shaper XL Turbo models. Let me dig it out. Ah, here it is. Dream Sheeper XL Turbo DPM PPSD. I'm configuring the text to image default workflow for the SDXL Turbo. We're connecting the case sampler, selecting the basic scheduler, not the other one, and tossing in an empty latent image, setting it to a cool 1024. But, wait. Let's check Civitai's official page for some Turbo Insights. They recommend 3 to CFG for normal, and 3 to 4 for style stuff, 4 to 7 for sampling steps. Using the normal DPM++ SDE Kara sampling method for the checkpoint models. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's see if it lives up to the turbo hype. And voila, the girl showcased is pretty close to their image. Those eyebrows, the hair, showing some details. Not perfect, but there's something happening in the image. Let's tweak the text prompts, maybe toss in a change of scenery. How about the girl holding an ice cream and a flower? Oh, six fingers? That's a bit much. Quick fix in the negative prompts and oh she's a married woman now, ring and all. Let's amp up the realism by changing her age, 25, 30, 50, watch those wrinkles appear. Now, onto a fast forward age changing frenzy, just for fun. Switching gears, I'm now going to test the Dream Shaper 8 LCM models with the animation workflow from my previous videos. You can check out these videos in my channels, and you can access the workflow files from these videos I'm going to provide in the link description below. Okay, so, same as usual, I'm going to load up a dance videos like this as a demo purpose. And then I'm changing the frame to 100 just for demo. And also, in the text prompt max cap frame, I'm changing 100. Alright, so let me update the travel prompts here since we don't need too much frames happening, and we are going to configure the checkpoint models here. We got to select the Dream Ship. Now, we need individual V loader for this one because this Dream Shaper LCM models does not have a VAA yet. So let's connect our checkpoint model for this workflow, and we have to bypass the LCM LoRa's groups on here. So the easiest way is that right click the mouse and then you can click bypass these groups of custom nodes and also this LCM discrete nodes, okay? And looks everything is fine and then we got to test this animate diff models with original MMSD 1.5 v2 models here with the animate diff loader and looks everything is fine. And if not, then we are going to start. Oh yes, one more thing. We have to try out the IP adapter with difference image. Let me select one image here. Okay, this time I'm going to select this image. So we get some cyber realistic styles with a cyber tunnel background on the back and see if this happened. It can apply on our animation since as you can see the original source videos, they have no backgrounds, like an empty solid color. So we can try with our IP adapter here. So again, Copying those text prompts from the showcase. See if we can use the Dream Shaper girls dancing. And then check one more time the text prompts. Everything is fine. And we can also go for click the cute prompts and start generating these animations. And I bet you this will be totally different with the source videos characters in terms of the clothing, the hairstyle, and even the backgrounds. I bet you this will be different. So right now it's going to the open post control net here. It takes a while, so I'm going to skip this part, and let's see the result here. Uh, wow, look at that. It is so futuristic. Uh, yes, the futuristic style, and they also have the golden body armor style outfit on the characters. 
Uh, just like the dream shaper, iconic girl. Yeah, so far so good. The movement, everything is smooth. And also the cyber futuristic tunnel on the background is referenced from my IP adapter's image. So there you have it. This workflow is also work for the dream shaper 8 LCM checkpoint models. So let's see the full result of this one. So here's the full length of this dance animations video as 24 seconds. And as you can see, the whole outfit, the color of the hair, and the background is totally different with the source video. And yes, we can do that with the Dream Shaper 8 LCM checkpoint models here. So, what about the Dream Shaper SDXL Turbo? Well, I have tried it with this animations workflow that I create, and let's see the result. It is not recommended for you guys to use this SDXL Turbo for element diff or any animations currently because look at that. It is like flickering and the image is not consistent. So I don't think it is compatible for animations yet. With SDXL Turbo, it's just a real time updating image for your text prompt only. And so if you want to drive in a fast loading way using checkpoint models for animations, I think you should go for the LCM at this moment. Not sure later on, but at this moment, the LCM is working for the animated and also animations in stable diffusions. So let's play one more time the full length animations in Dream Shaper 8 LCM. The first try I have did it is really honestly the first try of this animations and I really like it. I just wanna play one more time and I'm gonna upload in the YouTube shorts videos for this one and I hope you guys like it too. Enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day.